Good morning, children. All the third and fourth class. Uh, today, I am going to tell you the topic regarding our national symbols. Actually, uh, just look into the topic here. National symbols of India. Why there is a need of knowing a symbol? For example, a symbol is something we need to represent it. Every time we show it as some symbolic, that it is having some meaning. For example, generally if we talk, if I make any of you to stand up and tell the answer, if you are not able to tell the answer, you will show in one or the other signs. Do you know the answer means? You speak it out, yes or no. Sometimes you use the symbols, like you nod your head. It is telling some meaning. For example, you want to drink water. How you will show? You want to drink water, you will show like this. Means symbol is something where you represent to tell others. Yes or no? So here, when we talk about that meaning, how it is applied to our India. There are some national symbols of India. When we show them, we are showing a message to all the people of our country as well as for the complete world also. When we do it, when we practice it, we are showing as a symbolic to them that we use this flag or this flower or this animal representing the Indian national symbols. So here, every year we celebrate the Republic Day and Independence Day. Don't we? Yes, we celebrate our Independence Day on 15th August and our Republic Day on 26th January. So every year we celebrate, no? And on that day what we do actually? The first thing, important thing what we do? We hoist the flag and we salute to the flag. Means we are giving importance to the flag and the flag represents something for us. Now when you are hoisting the flag, everybody are saluting it. Then did you observe what is the meaning of hoisting the flag over there, there, why you should fly there. Did you got any idea or any time did you think about it? Yes, actually we feel proud to celebrate these festivals or them with much joy and happiness. The flag is the symbol of freedom. Yes, we celebrate these national festivals very with a lot of joy and happiness. So when you hoist the flag, it represents our freedom to show that yes, India got freedom on 15th August. That is the reason we are showing to the complete world that on this day we got the freedom. So this is our flag which is showing the freedom of our nation. This is a message we give to ourselves, to all the people, the brothers and sisters of our country as well as the complete world. We will see on the day that hosting the flag, okay, today they got freedom. Today is their independence day. Means the flag is representing that day as a day of freedom. The flag is the symbol of freedom. To show ourselves that we are free. We are having our own ruling. So that representation is given by our flag. So national symbol. One of the national symbol is our national flag. That is the reason you have to know about it. Okay. National flag. It has three colors. What are those colors? Saffron, white and green. And along with these three colors, between them we have an Dharma Chakra also. Yes or no? Yes. So what does these three colors represent actually? The first color, saffron, represents courage and sacrifice. Means we the people of India, Always we are very courageous and we are ready to sacrifice anything for our motherland. That represents the color of saffron in our flag. Next color is white. What does it represent? Purity and truth. 
men by heart by mind and men by all means we are all very pure understand what we speak we always speak the truth we are very pure from the heart and that is the reason we don't tell lies whenever we speak to the world or ourselves we have an pure mind pure heart and also we always speak truth so that is the meaning of the white color what we use in the flag next we have the green so this green color represents faith and fertility faith believing ourselves as we make other people to believe us when they want something they don't have any doubt we use such faithfulness to them understand we are very faithful whenever a work is given by any of other country they depend on us or any in other way we are very faithful to each other as well as to all the people of the world that is our representation of the green color and fertility fertility is nothing but whatever uh, i mean to say the crops we grow yes whenever you go and see in the fields how the fields will look children very green greenery yes or no all the fields when the crops grow different types of crops the paddy the wheat everywhere how the plants they look when we see from a longer distance green colored so that shows our fertility so fertile understand our land is so fertile land and we are having lot of fertility so that is the greatness of our land we show all this in one flag such a great representation or not yes that is the symbol of india so when we hoist it we have to remember all these things that is the reason we just stand and salute our flag that we are all taking these all oaths understand next so that is the reason we call it as tiranga why we have three colors tricolor flag yes so we call it as tiranga three means tir means three three colors anga means colors tiranga it is a symbol of freedom yes that is what we are discussing our national flag is a symbol of freedom next the next one is the national anthem so whenever the functions are to be taken or some important national festivals what song is sung by all the people we sing our national anthem only yes or no yes what is our national anthem it starts with the words jana gana mana yes so it was composed by rabindranath tagore he was the person who wrote that anthem for us actually it was one of his uh, famous uh, compositions we took we adopted it as our national anthem where we provided the pride for that song yes and we sing that song whenever we participate in very great uh, functions or some any national festivals or so any gatherings where we make our india proud to show to the complete world we sing this song and on whenever we sing what we do na na we stand up we don't sit actually whenever you sing janaga namana the national and the what you do you simply sit sit and uh, sing uh, no we all will stand and when you sing that song you all will be straight you never tilt this side you never tilt that side you should be very straight stiff and sing that song why because it shows our respect to yes we should respect it means we should respect our national anthem when you are straight stiff and when you sing it that shows your respect that we are more honored by taking that song and singing for all our people so this is our next national symbol national anthem where we again project ourselves that by this song we are making our country the great jana gana mana adinayaka yes so this is how the song actually goes actually it has five stanzas in it yes all the five stanzas will be representing the different features present in our india
Yes, children. Uh, next, the national symbol is our national emblem. Actually, it is taken from our great uh, Ashoka's uh, rituals. So, it is represented with the four lions. It has four lions. So, you might be seeing in films, yes, and uh, sometimes it is represent that you can see all the three lions only. The other lion is hidden actually. So, when you find sometimes, uh, like you can ask your friends, relatives, or your parents, when you visit the Adalat courts, which give the justice. Yes, the nearby we have an Adalat now, or the high courts. When you go and see, you will find the symbol of this, our emblem, where four lions will be there facing east, west, north, and south. But when we look into it, only the three lions are being shown for us. So, the three lions have their importance. The first one will be representing the truth, second, the dharma, the third, the justice. So, the other lion which is hidden, it is for the protection. Who gives us the protection? Yes, the department of protection will be the police department. Mainly, they will be handling all the protective measures. And uh, when it is brought to the court or the adalas, they will be giving us the justice. Means, all are abided to each other in all the directions. So, all these four directions are representing all the four great things of India that the first lion for truth, second for the dharma and the third one for the justice and the fourth one will be for the protection. This is how our national emblem is designed and it is symbolically representing our country for the complete world. And on it the slogan is also been inscribed. What is the slogan? Satya Meva Jayate which means Truth alone triumphs. Means truth only will win every time. If you are not truthful or if you are lying, you are making any fraud, you are not going to win any time. And if you are staying with the truth, if all of them are reverse and they are making a fraud, they will, they will lose one day. But if you are on the value of truth, you will be win compulsory. That is the meaning. Truth alone, no other thing on the earth will win, only truth will win. That is the reason, the meaning is truth alone triumphs, none other will go into bed triumph. So that is the meaning of Satya Meva Jayate. This is our national emblem showing that we are always truthful, we are bounded by the Dharma, what we are being taught and we are always ready to give justice to each everyone and we are going to protect ourselves. So that is our national emblem. So next one will be the national animal ma. So we are representing each and every symbol in some or other way that how India is. Now this national animal is uh, something we take it as the royal Bengal tiger. We find it in the Bengal. Understand? West Bengal. Royal Bengal tiger is a species of a tiger which is very fierce. Understand? And this symbol of this animal, what does it show actually? It shows the strength, the grace and the fierceness of the animal. So these all qualities are present for our country also. So we show it this as the India's wealth of wildlife. Means India is having a great wildlife wealth. Many forests are there. Lot of animals are there. So, it is also wealth for India only. Many animals which are present in the forest. For of all these animals, we take one animal and we represent it. Yes, we have a wildlife wealth also. Great wealth present in the forest. So, to represent it, we take the symbol of the tiger. The royal Bengal tiger is our national animal. Understand? Next, we are taking a bird also, a representation. National bird. Why do we take it as? Peacock is the national bird and it provides or it symbolizes the beauty, the pride and grace of our country. Our India is very beautiful. Understand? And we have very much pride. We are proud to say that India is great. 
to represent the beauty of India, how beautiful India looks with all the different types of monuments, the architectures, the mountains, the rivers, valleys, plains, plateaus, the areas, the ocean, the rivers, everything is making the greenery, the trees, everything is making a beauty. Yes, to represent this beauty of India, we take it a national bird to represent it. So it shows the beauty, pride on place of India and peacock is the national bird. Understand? Next we have the national flower. So what is the national flower? So the national flower is the lotus. Is the national flower of India. Sometimes uh, lotus will be in white and pink color. Nana, children. The white one is not considered as our national flower, but the pink one. Okay? The pink colored lotus is the national flower. Understood? So it shows the divinity, the purity, the wealth, and the beauty of India also. So it is also a symbolic representation. When you try to project that lotus, it represents our national beauty, divinity, pride, understand? So everything, purity. So this is a representation of a flower. And these ideals are of India. These are all the ideals of India. Why do we show these all ideals actually? Why do we show the national flag? Yes. Why do we show the national emblem, national anthem? Why do we show the national animal, national bird, national flower? These all are ideals means to show that we are having so many things in India, so beautiful, so pure, purity, yes, so strong, so pride, so divinity, all the qualities are there, so all will represent one India. We are having different things, we have beauty, we have pride, we have sacrifice, we are very truthful, understand, and we are having a lot of divinity everything is our quality and we all stay as one so that is the reason why we consider the national symbols of india and every symbol is a representation to show that india is one and uh, write down the questions whatever i am giving in the worksheets if you have not understood the topic or if you have any queries doubts you can ask me I am uh, providing my WhatsApp number also. Just children.